Okay, hello there again. So we're going to continue our radial nerve segment. So we've just been through the course of the radial nerve, so you know how the radial nerve starts off from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus and then ends up down into the arm as a superficial radial nerve and then the posterior interosseous nerve. So here I'm going to show you how to test for both of them. Now all nerves, most nerves actually, have a motor and a sensory part. So we're going to be checking the motor component of radial nerve and the sensory component. So let me show you how to check the motor component. So, if you'd just like to show me your arm, so initially we know the radial nerve supplies the triceps, so if you'd just like to bend your arm and push against me. So over here I'm trying to test the uh, triceps muscle and it's contracting, so the radial nerve over there is intact. Then, we're going to examine the other motor components. If you could extend your wrist up please, and stop me from pushing it down. And his wrist extension is power 5 out of 5, that tells me his radial nerve seems to be intact. But wrist extension is not specific for posterior interosseous nerve. What's specific for the posterior interosseous nerve is thumb extension, the thumbs up sign. So if you could kindly rest your hand on my hand, lift your thumb up, and if you could bring the camera close together and show us this over here. So if you look over here, you can see the extensor pollicis longus contracting with the patient lifting their thumb up. So you want to push the thumb down against resistance and test the EPL, and that ensures that your posterior interosseous nerve has been tested. So that's our motor segment done. After the motor segment's done, we know that the radial nerve also has a sensory branch, the superficial radial nerve branch, and that is here in the first dorsal web space. So what you need to do is check both sides. So if I can have a look at both of your hands, please, and if you can come closer down. So if you can. Uh, tell me whether you feel my fingers over there, mm -hmm. and do they feel the same? Yeah. Thank you very much. So we've checked the motor and then the sensory component of the radial nerve. So in brief summary, um, checking the triceps muscle, checking wrist extension and thumb extension, and the sensation of the first dorsal web space. Thank you very much.